What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best CA tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is capable of running a jailbreak. At this time, it's iOS 8.1.2, so let's get right into it. And the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Harbor. This one's available in City at for $3.99. And what this tweak does is it brings the dock from Mac OS to iOS. So as you can see right here, down below in my dock, I have this completely new dock. And as you can see, as I drag my finger across it, the icons do get larger, and I have that same wave effect that is found in, again, uh, OS X on Mac computers. And if you want to open up an application, all you have to do is just let go on that particular app, and it will open up the application. So, of course, as you can see, the dock found in OS X has been completely redesigned for touchscreen devices. As you can see, you could also have folders down here. I'll just let go on the folder, and there you go. So it's a really good idea, and I'm actually very excited about this tweak. As soon as I saw it, you know, I was immediately excited about it. Just to have something so fluid, intricate, and just this concept really amazes me, being able to port something like this over to iOS and have it work just so well. Very impressive to me. So, of course, there are various settings to configure inside the settings app after you've installed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in there. We'll head over to a Harbor, and here's the switch to enable or disable the tweak. And do have, again, various settings to configure in here. So... As you can see, you could uh, configure how long the animation takes, and that's kind of when you go off of the dock right here. As you can see, how it kind of bounces like that. If you want to make that shorter, I'll just put it to the minimum. I'll show you, as you can see, it's just a lot faster. There you go. So there's also other things to configure here. As you can see, wave height, wave width, dock margin. <laughs> And something else that I want to talk about in this tweak is the bouncing of applications in the dock. And basically, when applications will bounce to the dock is when they do have a notification. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So I do have the messages application in my dock, as you can see down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and send myself a message from my phone over here to my iPod Touch. And as soon as I get the notification, you're going to see that the messages application, as you can see, it just starts bouncing just like that. And there are settings to configure for the bouncing, as you can see. So you could configure basically when it bounces, for how long it bounces, and the uh, space in between each bounce. So let's go into the settings here. And we'll just head over to bounce. And as you can see, this is how uh, frequent it's going to happen. Every five seconds, I have it set to. And you also notice down here, as you can see, you could actually see the, applic you see the application bouncing in other apps, which is pretty cool. So you could see... Even if you get a notification in another app like this, you can still see that it has the notification down there, so it's constantly uh, reminding you. And as you can see, bounce in running apps, you could disable what I just talked about if you want. And you also could configure if you want the applications to bounce on the lock screen, so you can see that. And there are a few things I want to show you down here. I'm not going to show you everything, but show app indicator name is basically, as you saw earlier when I was going like this, as you can see, it's going to see the name of the application as I drag from one app to another. You can disable that if you want. And let's go back into settings. And then we have show app state dot. This is actually really cool. It's going to show, just like on Mac OS, the state of an application. So if an application is running or if it's not running via a dot. So as you can see, the messages application is running because it has this little dot down there. It might be a little bit hard to see because my dock is pretty small, but I'll focus in on that for you. And as you can see, the uh, messages application and the mail application both have black dots. And that means these applications are running. So if I show you inside the app switcher, as you can see, I do have mail and I have messages. So those are two applications that are open in my dock. So you can see which app is open. That's super cool. And of course, that's also from Mac OS. And again, there's various other settings in here, but that's pretty much the idea of the tweak. I am extremely impressed by this tweak. It's one of my favorites this year, definitely. And I definitely do recommend you check this out. Even if you don't own a Mac, definitely recommend you still, again, check this out. Once again, it's called Harbor. It's available in Cydia for $3.99. And I just have one last quick thing I'd like to say about Harbor. When opening applications, you don't have to slide and release. You can just tap like this, as you can see, and open up an app. I just opened up Messages by tapping. Now, it might be a little bit hard depending on how many applications you have in your dock, obviously, to do this, um, you know, how small they are, but it is possible. Also, how to, how, I want to show you how to remove apps. Basically, you just hold on a particular app and then slide up, and as you can see, the app is now um, active. You can move it wherever you want. 
and you just move apps in just by dragging of course and of course when you add applications to the dock the dock will get smaller and smaller and if you continuously remove applications it will get larger so of course more space more space for the icons to be big i just wanted to say those few things and the next week I'm going to be showing you guys is called Aria, and that's A-R-I-A. -A. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And it's going to allow you to do various cool things with the music application, various useful good things. So there's tons of them. For example, one of my personal favorites is the ability to queue up next song. So for example, let's say I was playing one song here, any song, and I wanted to queue up a song to play as soon as this song is done playing. So... How I would do that is I find any song in my music library, I tap and hold on it, and I get this new menu as soon as I release my finger. Play now, play next, or play last. If I select play next, as soon as the song that I'm currently playing is done, it's going to play the song that I selected afterwards. So I'll just go ahead and move this all the way to the end, the scrubber, and you'll see, as you can see, it's going to go to that song that I selected. The play last function is, so if you have various... Um, songs queued you could uh, keep adding them to the end of the list and it does actually add a new playlist for this down here however it will obviously adjust depending on your queue it's not, it's not like a permanent playlist it will adjust depending on what songs you queue up also this tweak will allow you to have a cool grid view in the artist section as you can see normally it's just a list but we have these nice you know grids for the artists that we have which is very nice and something else cool let me just go back in there didn't mean to close that is uh, in the now playing section here, this may be a little bit hard to notice, but it actually takes the um, album artwork and makes the colors in the music app, the background colors, match those. So if I just go forward a song here, let's just play one song, and we'll go back a song. As you saw there, the background did adjust um, to match the wallpaper or to match the album art of the song. So that's pretty cool. And there are various settings to configure for this tweak. If we just head over to our settings app, and there it is, area. We'll go in there. Of course, again, there's various things you can configure. Something I do want to point out in here is inside the music app section, you do have the hide store button toggle. And this is going to hide that store button that's really annoying that appears inside the music app. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you. I'll just go ahead and disable it to show you what it looks like normally. And after you make any changes in here, you will need to select close music to apply the changes. So go ahead and select that and click yes, and it will restart the music app. So let's go back into our music app here and we'll open it up. And as soon as it refreshes, you will see the store button. So this is what it looks like in normal iOS. As you can see, we have this store button up here. And it's actually really easy to tap, especially when you're playing something and you select back maybe twice by accident. It's easy to accidentally hit store. What this option will allow you to do, let's just go back to settings here is you can go into music.app and you can enable hide store button go back and of course just close music to apply the changes and what this will do is it will completely get rid of that button this button will just take you to the itunes store of course and it's not that big of a deal but it's a minor inconvenience that this tweak fixes so as you can see the store button is gone now i can tap back as many times as i want by accident if i accidentally tap an extra time i don't have to worry because the store button is completely gone that's just one thing that i want to show you with this tweak and if you want the list of everything that this tweak does, a good place to find that out is in the Cydia description for the tweak. So on the listing, you just want to go ahead and scroll down, and here's the list of everything that the tweak does. I just kind of scratched the surface, but there's various things that it does. Once again, it's called Area. You can get it for $1.99. And next up, we have Photo Timestamp. This one's available in Cydia for $1.99. And this tweak will allow you to view the timestamps uh, time stamps of uh, photos that you took inside the photos app it will also allow you to customize the style of the timestamp so let's go over to my camera roll here and i'll just tap on a photo and as you can see right there down below at the bottom it does say when i took the photo the date the time as you can see right here as i scroll through it will give me the timestamp. and of course you can configure the color of that and some other things as well inside the settings app so let's head over to the settings app here and we'll scroll down to um, photo timestamp and let's go into the settings so at the top we have background color this is what i was talking about you have this entire palette of colors to your uh, at your disposal you can customize the color hit done and it will apply that change you also have the background transparency you can drag that to your liking text color as well you could configure here using this same palette of colors that i talked about 
text alignment, various other things in here, as you can see that you can configure. And if you want to set everything back to default, you can select reset to default settings and it will go back to its factory settings. I really do like this tweak. It's just really nice being able to see exactly when I took a photo, you know, right from the photo viewing screen here. And of course you can customize it. It's all very nice. So once again, the tweak is called photo timestamp. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And the next week I'm going to be showing you guys is called Spot Bing Search. It's available on Cydia for free. And this week will allow you to search more things with Spotlight Search than you're originally allowed in iOS. And there are various things you can search with this. And in the preferences panel for the tweak, there's actually a link to a website. Here it is. I have it installed right here, How To Guide. And if you click on that, it basically, it's basically just going to open up this page. I already have it opened. It's going to open it up in Safari, and it tells you how to search each uh, thing and what of course it will allow you to search so basically it will allow you to search Bing Google Twitter Yahoo YouTube and Safari or the YouTube application on your device which is over here if you do have it installed and basically what you do is you put in a certain character or a few characters before your search and as soon as you actually perform the search it's going to open up the app that um, it is going to search in um, and of course search whatever you typed in so for the YouTube app we type in YA for YouTube it's Y for Yahoo it's YS Twitter T uh, Google GS Bing B so I'll show you how this works here so let's just go ahead and pull down spotlight search and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in YA for the YouTube app then I type space and then I type in whatever I want to type in so I'm going to go ahead and type in ultimate iDevice vids I'm sorry, I am promoting myself. I admit it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and type this in. It's hard to type behind the camera. Excuse me, but okay. So let's go ahead and select search now. And as soon as I do that, as you can see, it's going to automatically bring up the YouTube application. And as soon as it loads up here, it will bring up the search. As you can see right here, it searched exactly what I wanted it to search, Ultima iDevice vids. And again, that works for other things as well. Uh, all the things that it does work with and how to use it is in this guide here, which can be found in the preferences panel of the tweak. So let's just do one more. I'm going to go ahead and use Google. I'll try GS and then I'll type something in. So I'll go ahead and type in GS and I'll go ahead and type in Ultima iDevice vids again. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, there we go. So let's go ahead and select search. And as you can see, it will bring up Safari just like that, the Safari application. And as you can see, it searched whatever I wanted it to search. So works very well. Good concept, good implementation. Once again, the tweak's called Spot Bing Search. It's available in Cydia for free. And the last tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Slices. This one's available in Cydia for $1.99. And this thing will allow you to have various data slots for the same app on your device. So it may sound a little confusing. So basically, you can have several versions of an App Store application on your device. And when I say versions, I don't mean like versions, you know, as you'd see in the updates tab from the App Store, not like newer or older versions. You could have the exact same application, same, you know, version of the app, but two different uh, data slots on your device. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So. Before I even go into that, I'm just going to open up my Doodle Jump game here. I actually just installed this for a demo, and my score is not that good, so <laughs> you're going to have to bear with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and die intentionally here. And as, as you can see, there's my score, and I have a name. You know, I've configured this application. I have my app configured. Okay, so now let's head over to our settings, and let's say I wanted to create a new slice, a new data slot for this app. So I can scroll down until I see slices, and we go in there. And we go to applications, make sure that tweaks enabled, of course. And we select whichever app we want. It'll show all the App Store apps here on your device. And here we have the ability to create a new slice. So go ahead and select create slice. Now, this first slice here, this is the slice that your app is currently in. So this is the current slice for the app. So I would highly recommend you call it default. Actually, don't even know how to spell default. A U L T, I think. Okay, <laughs> my, my God. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and select create slice. Um, and again, the one, the first one that you select to create slice on is the uh, one that your app is currently in. Now let's go ahead and create a second slice, a fresh one. We're gonna go ahead and select slice, create slice, and I'm just gonna call it second. You can call it whatever you want. And again, this is gonna be a fresh slice, so it's is gonna be as if you installed the application for the first time. 
Now, you may ask how you choose which slice you want to log into. What I recommend you do is you enable uh, Ask on Touch. That, that's what I recommend. And you're going to be asked as soon as you tap the app which slice you want to log into. So let's go ahead and open up our Doodle Jump app here. And as you can see, we have default or second. So um, if I wanted to log in to my fresh, uh, my fresh uh, profile, I'd just go ahead and select second. It's going to open up the new uh, fresh version of the app. It's as if I just installed it. So I'm just going to wait for it to load up here. And I'll select play. And this game takes me back. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go ahead and die intentionally here. So, as you can see, it's a brand new game. That's uh, I just made my first score. I don't have a name. As you can see, this is a fresh version of the app, but I still have the other version. So if I tap on it and I select default, it's going to allow me to log into my original profile. So this is really cool, especially for games. Also, uh, some applications like Instagram uh, only allow you to log into one account. This is That's just one use case for it. You can log into two now. As you can see, here's my old score. So... Very cool tweak. It's very useful to have, especially for you know gamers who like to have separate scores, or you know you want to hand it to a friend. Maybe you don't want them to screw with your score, so you could make them a fresh slice. Or again, some applications like Instagram only allow you to have one account. So with this, you can make several slices and have several different you know slices of the app and log into different accounts. There's various uses for this. It's called Slices. It's a really great tweak. Very very convenient. And once again, it's called uh, or it's available in Cydia for one dollar and ninety nine cents. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section which one of these tweaks is your favorite. And I'll see you guys later.